From the farm to your local grocery or restaurant, the 2018 crop of Zodalia onions began shipping today to the, to the delight of those who enjoy its sweet, mild flavor profile. Joining us today to mark the availability of this seasonal ingredient is celebrity chef Kevin Gillespie with a few ideas on how to incorporate the Zodalia onion into some amazing dishes at home. Welcome, Kevin. Good morning. How are you? I am great. I love these onions, so Me too. I can't wait to see what it is that you're preparing for us today. Yeah, so I'm making a slow-roasted Vidalia onion soup this morning. I wanted to do something that folks could make at home. I hope they do make it at home, but something that really emphasizes the, the flavor of the Vidalia sweet onion. And what makes Vidalia onions different from other onions? Why are they so Vidalia onions are truly unique. This is a product of just this region. The, the climate here, the soil, the water content, all of that shapes the flavor of the Vidalia onion. You end up with something that's very low sulfur and probably one of the sweetest onions that you'll ever taste. Where are they grown best? So they're grown in a very limited region in South Georgia. Vidalia is one of the places that it's grown. We're in Toombs County right now, but there's essentially a 20 county radius that, that is allowed to grow and market something that is truly a Vidalia onion. So that's why they're in such demand. They're, they're in a shorter supply. So exactly. how long are Vidalia onions in season and available in stores? So today is the first day of the season, of the Vidalia onion season, and it's going to run through probably the end of August or perhaps even the very beginning of September. But it is a limited crop. This is something that we appreciate and like to think of as truly a seasonal product, the same way that maybe folks think of tomatoes or strawberries as a seasonal product. Vidalia onions are exactly the same. What are some other great recipes or ways we can incorporate Vidalia onions into our, our meals? So when folks are working with Vidalias, I think the key here is to remember that what makes them so truly unique is that they have that light, crisp, fresh quality and a, and a sort of a natural sweetness. So I like to incorporate them in dishes where I can showcase that. So they make a phenomenal onion ring. In my opinion, the very best one that you'll ever have, but I, perhaps I'm a bit biased because they have that crunch and because they're sort of not as spicy as a lot of onions are. I also love, aside from using them in soups, I like using them along with uh, braised meats, grilled meats. Uh, they make a perfect um, French onion dip or creamy onion dip for your next party. So really the sky is the limit with them. What I like to tell people is that anything that you would do with an onion, you can do better with a Vidalia onion. Sounds yummy. Um, tell me a little bit more about that soup you're preparing. So this creamy Vidalia onion soup is really easy to make. It starts by actually taking the onions themselves with the skins on and wrapping them in aluminum foil. So we're making sort of a parcel here where we can capture all of the juice from the onion itself because we want that juice to bring flavor and also to, to adjust our consistency on our soup. So we wrap them up in foil, wrap them tight so that we don't lose any steam, put them on a cookie sheet and pop them in the oven. Now we let them roast until they're completely tender, I mean soft to the touch. And we'll open the packages up. You've got to be a little bit careful so that you don't burn yourself because it'll be hot at first. Let them sit for a few seconds, and then you can pop the root end of it off that I do here. Squeeze it out of the jacket or out of the skin directly into the carafe of the blender. And the soup is largely made up of this puree of onions, sort of unadulterated by, by too much more. We do add a little bit of mascarpone cheese to it because I think it adds a nice sort of sweet, milky creaminess. Uh, we add a clove of garlic, not too much, but just a little bit to add some bite to it, and uh, some kosher salt and a little bit of fresh lemon juice, and that really rounds out the flavor of this soup. It, it accentuates the sweetness. Obviously, it needs a little bit of salt in there just so that we can pick up on those nuances of the flavor of the onion itself. And then, depending on how much juice we get from the onion, we'll have to decide whether we adjust the, the consistency of this soup with perhaps a little bit of chicken broth or some vegetable broth, either one. We don't want to add too much because this is already sort of naturally creamy on its own, but we might add just a little bit to it so that we get that perfect sort of spoon ability that we associate with, with a classic soup. So once we reach that point, we'll just take it straight from our blender carafe and we'll pour it into our pot just to hold it warm. So be careful that we don't keep it over too hot of heat because eventually the soup can reduce down and it's really perfect right when it comes from the blender and is ready to serve. I finish it really with just a little bit of chives and a tiny bit of black pepper and that's all we have to do to finish this soup to make it exactly what we want it to be. And in my opinion, it really showcases all of the best qualities of the Vidalia onion. You get a beautiful texture to it. 
You get a natural sweetness. This is no added sugar to this. This is just what the onion itself tastes like. And for me, it's the first taste of, of really what is spring in Georgia. Okay, that sounds delicious and does not sound difficult to make at all. Not at all. It's actually really simple. And that's the thing about it is that when you start with a product like this, it's already great. The key is that you don't need to do very much to it. You just need to think about what its natural flavor is and highlight that as best you can. Well, where can we go to get more recipes and find more information out about these amazing onions? Absolutely. If you guys want more information, you want to hear the stories of these growers who are, I mean, they're true artisans. We're, we're talking about hand planting, hand harvesting, really a labor of love here. Go check out VidaliaOnions.org. And then also check out social media. We're using the hashtag OnlyVidalia. And uh, you'll see photos from the farms, from the fields. You'll see some different dishes that I'm making. And I think a lot of folks in the country right now are going to be celebrating that their favorite onions are finally available. And how long again are they going to be available for? So the availability will probably run till the end of August, perhaps the early part of September. Um, but they'll, they'll be here until they're all gone. So, you know, you got to oh, okay. jump on it. We get to enjoy them all summer long. That That's right. Great. That's right. Um, well, I definitely going to make that soup because that sounds delicious. And like I said, not very difficult to make at all. So, Kevin, thank you so much for bringing us. Um, thank you. The Salinas of the Vidalia Onions and some great places to find more recipes.